tungsten jig heads, paddle tail swim baits. Welcome to the 30 day video challenge, ladies and gentlemen. I've done this challenge probably two or three times over the past almost six years now. I've been on YouTube. Um, this year, I'm determined to do all 30 days. Um, I think the best, the closest I got was like 27 or 28 days a few years ago. And to start it off, we're gonna be talking about tungsten jig heads uh, and paddle tail swim baits. This right here, this tungsten jig head, you can get right now, you can get a pack of these right now for just $1 because this video is sponsored by the Two More Cast Tackle Box subscription. Click the link in the video description, it's the very top link. You can get a pack of these tungsten jigs and tungsten jigs are not cheap. You can get a pack of them right now for just a buck. And then after this month, you're gonna get a pack of like multi-species lures, hair jigs, jerk baits, crank baits, spoons, bunch of different random stuff. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about how we can find fish both shallow and deep and how to use this tungsten jig. And this, uh, this is a Euro Tackle B Vibe, which is a paddle tail swim bait. Uh, to our advantage to catch some really nice crappie on the river today. Basically how I found these fish is using side imaging. Um, these fish stick out like Christmas trees, especially in uh, shallow water. If you can find any piece of brush or cover in shallow water, I got some screenshots here. Uh, they, they just light the screen up and you don't really need forward looking sonar. You don't need live scope to do it. Obviously it's an advantage, um, but with both shallow and deep, if you can throw a buoy marker over the top of it, and then you just get your cat casting close to it because as we get into the fall, the bite's really gonna turn off. As water temps drop, uh, that's gonna mix the oxygen throughout the water column. These fish are gonna become super aggressive. So as long as you can get a paddle tail swim bait, which looks like a bait fish close to these crappie, they're gonna bite it. All right, so we got our tungsten B vibe rigged up. Let's go find some of these shallow river fish while they're still here and while we still got some warm weather. There they are. Let's close in on them and pull a few crappie off there, put them in the live well, and go fry them up. Man, that's a crazy tail action on this thing. Just the fall rate itself, as this thing falls down, that tail action triggers bites. There he is. I feel like that's, oh yeah, that's a decent fish. That's a decent crappie. Come here, buddy. There we go. Good crop for the live well. He choked it too. Look at that, absolutely choked it. Think that guy was hungry? My goodness. There we go, that guy's going to the live well. He's a chunker. Throw them on the bump board here real quick. 11 and a quarter on the dot. There's 11 right here. 11 and a quarter. Solid river crappie going for the frying pan. Heck of a way to start off the 30 day challenge. Let's get some more. There he is. Oh, I got hit like a freight train. He's not that big though. He's going back, but he hit hard in heck. Holy smokes, that big fish didn't hit that hard. Even though he choked it, he's got a chunk out of him. You think a muskie took a bite out of him? Let's see, bud. And one thing great about not only the, the paddle tails, but uh, tungsten jigs, for not only open water applications, but ice fishing as well. A lot of guys use a tungsten for ice fishing. They're typically, yeah, they're a little bit more expensive, but today you can get them for just a buck, some of these packs of jigs. Um, but when you got a double jig setup or even just a single jig like this, you can downsize in the actual size of the jig head. Like this is a 1 16th, but it fishes like a 1 8. You know, it's, it really has the same fall rate. You can fish it deep, you can fish it fast in deep water and pairing it up with a, a some sort of paddle tail swim bait like this B-Vibe I got going on here. That B-Vibe actually allows it to hang up a little bit and almost flutter over the top of some of these brush piles. I think if I was using more of a like a straight inline pattern, like a, a minnow pattern that didn't really have a whole lot of tail action, um, it would fall a little bit too fast if I'm trying to fish not only this shallow water, but even if I was fishing in 15 to 20 feet, 
because you want it to hang up a little bit that kind of hang up and pause and then it slowly falls starts to slowly fall down before it really starts going fast um, that's kind of is what's going to trigger a lot of these bites especially in the fall there he is Ooh, boat flipped the big guy probably should have used the net for this I'm using oh well damn he was gonna go in the live well but throwing out the six and a half foot casting rod four pound mono 1000 size PC fun Viper X reel by far my favorite just as far as where price and performance meet I don't think you can beat the 1000 size Viper X for crappie fishing I really don't 35 bucks I think it is plus a promo code you can save 18% off which I think puts it under 30 bucks using promo code flopping 18 here's another fish come on buddy there he is Just swimming with it see a big fish a little fish he's not that big these little fish I'll be able to boat flip but there we go another one on the tungsten b vibe combination all right moved to a deeper spot that i i knew there's a there's actually a lay down here sunk and i don't know if you guys could see it but there was a crap load of bait crap load of bait piled in here um, the wind has been kind of coming out of the south here for the past few days and pushing not only bait fish but a bunch of weeds into kind of these any little sandbars that kind of stick out because this part of the river the river pretty much runs north south so anytime you get a strong north or a strong south wind you get piles of bait fish on one side of the sandbars or the other and uh, that's what just happened here Let's see if we can find this tree again uh, loads of bait fish which typically means there's going to be loads of bluegill crappie smallmouth probably some walleye Probably, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a muskie on live scope here today. I don't know if you guys saw on the side imaging as well. You can use the zoom function. I paused it over this tree that I know is here. Yeah, there's a, there's a tree that is absolutely loaded. It's in about 20 feet of water and there's, you can see there's crappie over the top of the tree, but then way up top, there's a huge pot of bait fish. This river is absolutely loaded with bait fish. I can actually see them busting. They're busting on top right now. This is crazy even see my jig there's a fish and they're crappie they're not big crappie though there's gonna be some decent fish down there just got to sort through the little guys see you bud but I think because the wind over the past week has been pushing right into this sandbar these fish are a little bit shallower than what they normally would be I'm willing to bet as we get further into September, um, colder temps throughout the night and then north winds, these fish are gonna push back out into that 20 to 25 foot, possibly even that 30 foot range. Um, and then definitely as we get into like October, November, they're gonna push out to deeper water during like October, November. My goodness, these things are aggressive. These things are much more aggressive. That's a keeper, that's a keeper. Come here, buddy. You're going in a live well, dude. Yeah, you get to ride in the live well. Oh, there I am. I'm gonna drop right in the middle of this school here and hopefully catch one real quick. Yep. Is he gonna eat? He is not, I don't think. Oh well. All right, well, that is gonna end it here. I need a pliers, hold on. Be sure to click the link in the video description. Get yourself the tungsten jigs. Pack of tungsten jigs for just a buck. Um, tungsten jigs are not cheap, so it is a really good deal to sign up. If this is your first time signing up for the Two More Cast Tackle Box, sign up right now, get them for a buck. Um, they are a great fall and even winter jig application. They fall really, really fast and you can downsize you know, like I said, this is a 16th ounce uh, tungsten jig. Falls the same as an eighth ounce. I mean, it, you can really downsize with these jigs. So I'll link my entire setup below. If 
you got any comments or questions about how I found these fish, any type of sonar that I got in the boat, rod reel setup, um, post it in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. And uh, hopefully you're looking forward to the remainder of the 30 day challenge video series here in September. So appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.